like a raining to a pot of gold. The most scenic and colorful route to the golden sands of Miami Beach is the Citrus Boulevard section of Highway 27 in sunny central Florida. Today on Guided Tour, we'll have a look at some of the highway's acres of orange groves and its fabulous attractions, beginning springs. Aboard a glass bottom boat at Silver Springs in one of the many enjoyable interludes on their southward journey through the Sunshine State, Highway 27 travelers from all parts of the country spectacular underwater sights. Sheer drops in the submarine walls of 17 to 31 feet give glass biters a pleasant sensation of being on air. Thousands of fish of all kinds and sizes can be seen in the crystal clear pools, swimming through an enchanting landscape of the deep. Far below, from the crevices of Big Spring and Endless Cavern, an average 550 million gallons of water flows every 24 hours. Not all the beauty of Silver Springs lies beneath the surface of its waters. Located in a 150-acre park filled with azaleas, dogwood, and a multitude of other flowers, Florida's Silver Springs is the home of several major attractions in addition to the famous glass bottom boats. Taking visitors down the Silver River on a 45-minute thrill ride through nearly five miles of dense tropical jungle and handsomely landscaped parkway, are big jungle cruise launches. Every jungle cruise is climaxed by a visit with a colony of wild monkeys. An appropriate beginning for the 175 mile stretch of natural beauty and man-made wonders that is Citrus Boulevard, Florida's Silver Springs is to the south what Niagara Falls is to the east and Grand Canyon is to the west, a truly spectacular natural attraction. The call of the open road is never more rewarding than when it's answered on Florida's spacious highways. US 27 runs down the entire center of the Sunshine State to Miami, taking eastern seaboard visitors only 35 miles away from coastal routes. Veteran travelers know it as a faster, easier road to drive, and one that saves time in the long run. One of the pleasant communities through which the highway passes is Leesburg, in the heart of the lake and citrus grove country. Fishing, boating, and swimming beneath the Florida sun are enjoyed here all year round. Leesburg's Prince is a large citrus processing and concentrating plant. It was the board chairman of the community's first national bank, Mr. E.G. Ware, who interested the Florida State Legislature in designating this section of U.S. Highway 27 as Citrus Boulevard. The community center in Leesburg is a colorfully modern gathering place for recreational and social events. Southward again, the highway approaches Claremont and one of Florida's most famous landmarks, the Citrus Tower. Standing like a giant map tack near the geographic and population center of the state, the Citrus Tower was completed in 1956 and has since become a popular attraction for travelers on Highway 27. There are more than 17 million citrus trees in the 2,000 square mile area seen from the top of the tower, which is surrounded by orange groves, hills, and lakes for as far as the eye can see and beyond. An electric elevator serves three decks at the top of the tower, rising more than 500 feet above sea level from well-kept lawns on one of Florida's highest hilltops. The highest observation point in the state, it overlooks scenes of unbelievable beauty. The Citrus Tower, they say in Claremont, was built by tourism and vitamin C. Located in the heart of Florida's orange and grapefruit country, the tower gives visitors an unusual perspective for their first look at the famous groves. Looking down the sheer walls of the tower, a spacious parking lot accommodating 600 cars can be seen at the base. Powerful telescopes mounted on the top observation deck 
bring objects as far as 30 miles away to clear focus. And the glasses are always popular with visitors. The rolling lake-dotted countryside that is ideal for raising Florida's $200 million annual citrus crop extends over an area 175 miles long and 100 miles wide, through which U.S. Highway 27 Citrus Boulevard passes. Many of the Sunshine State's highways, communities, tourist attractions, and resorts can be attributed directly to this vast citrus industry, which had its beginnings with the arrival of Spanish settlers in Florida in the 16th century. The development of the Groveland's opened up more and more of the state to new residents and tourists from all parts of the country. Occupying the ground floor of Citrus Tower are a soda fountain, a gift shop, and a sunlit restaurant with the most scenic panorama in central Florida spread out before its picture windows. Other attractions of the tower include artistic Don Boots and his family, bohemian glass blowers who create delicate figurines and glassware using flames at a temperature of more than 2,000 degrees. Climaxing a visit to the Citrus Tower is a trip aboard one of a fleet of amphibious ducks, a scenic hour-long tour of the area's groves, lakes, and residential areas. The trip is unusual in that passengers enjoy land and water travel without having to change vehicles. Further south on the highway, Governor's Grove is a tribute by the citrus industry to the chief executives of the 49 states and four territories established to commemorate the 50th annual National Governor's Conference in Miami Beach. Each chief executive received a lease to one tree and the 400 square feet of land surrounding it. And Valencia oranges grown on the 53 trees are processed and delivered to the governors periodically throughout the year. She couldn't resist the temptation, but it might mean that one governor will have to do without his glass of juice at breakfast some morning. Roadside stands advertising all the juice you can drink. Bright displays of grove fresh oranges and grapefruit and the fragrance of orange blossoms everywhere beneath the warm Florida sunshine are typical of the entire length of Citrus Boulevard. There's still more fun and excitement ahead for Highway 27 travelers as the internationally famous tourist attraction of Cypress Gardens comes into view at Winter Haven. Located just four miles from Citrus Boulevard on State Road 540, this beautifully landscaped paradise is regarded as America's tropical wonderland. Electrically operated boats carry visitors through scenic canals at Cypress Gardens, and beautiful models in colorful gowns of the Old South are always available for picture taking. The big show at Cypress Gardens is an exciting performance by daring water skiers who put on a thrill-a-minute show four times daily every day in the year. Let's just join the audience in watching these champion water ski experts whiz through their routine. Contrasting sharply with the excitement of Cypress Gardens is the peace and serenity of our next Highway 27 attraction. The Mountain Lake Sanctuary, located at Lake Wales, home of the famous Bach Singing Tower. Created by the late Edward William Bach as a place of quiet beauty for all to enjoy, the sanctuary has come to be regarded as the Taj Mahal of America. The 205-foot singing tower, constructed of Georgia marble and Florida coquina rock, houses a carillon of 71 bells, a 
upon which recitals are given during winter and summer seasons. There's always something doing in the communities along Highway 27. And good-looking girls are a part of everything in Florida, from the opening of a new supermarket to the dedication of a highway. Here, drum majorette Mary Jane Van Dyes, national baton twirling champion, performs in connection with the dedication of this section of the highway as Citrus Boulevard. The great masterpiece, world-famous mosaic reproduction of Da Vinci's Last Supper, is a must for all north or southbound travelers on Highway 27. Just a short distance from the box singing tower at Lake Wales, Florida, this memorable attraction is approached by an entrance leading into an imposing court of flags. In the House of Glass on the Masterpiece grounds, the centuries-old art of bohemian glassblowing is dramatically brought to life before your eyes by the amazing Howell Glassblowers, a world-renowned husband and wife team. In a majestic setting of unparalleled beauty, amid an endless profusion of flowers, the great masterpiece is dramatically revealed every 30 minutes throughout the day. Europe's most highly skilled mosaic artisans completed the great masterpiece in Germany in 1930. Hidden from the Nazis, it was buried in a Berlin cellar where it survived the bombings of World War II. To prevent its falling into Russian hands at the end of the war, the mosaic was flown out of Berlin by the U.S. airlift and brought to America. It was displayed for a time at Rockefeller Center in New York, and in 1950, it was brought to Florida for permanent exhibition in the Gardens of Peace at the Great Masterpiece. 300,000 pieces of tile in 10,000 color gradations form the magnificently executed mosaic, which has been internationally acclaimed as the world's only true, perfect facsimile of Leonardo's immortal Last Supper. A fascinating collection of models and sketches of Leonardo's inventions is also on display here in the Da Vinci Gallery of Futuristic Inventions. Such things as the air conditioner, machine gun, subway system, airplane, and helicopter were all visualized by a man born 40 years before Columbus discovered America. Guided tours are conducted every 30 minutes through the picturesque gardens and the forest primeval at the great masterpiece. Historic Fort Clinch, a real Indian war fort, has been reconstructed on the grounds of the great masterpiece, just as it appeared in the days when legends were being born in the Florida hammock. And so it goes on U.S. Highway 27's Citrus Boulevard. There's something to excite the senses around every curve, over every gentle hilltop. The rainbow of this road has not one, but dozens of pots of gold for the interest of travelers, as you have seen on Guided Tour.